Hello everyone, it's the 30th of September 2022, time absolutely flies. I'm here down at Folkestone, um, English Channel here behind me, Stephen Folkestone Bay uh, behind me in the background. You can see around all of the Kentish coast, pretty much around the Dungeness power station which is a long way away in the distance around there. And today I'm starting a new pilgrimage route from Folkestone to Minster called the Royal Saxon Way. Um, 36 miles, probably a bit longer, knowing the way things go sometimes, getting lost and way, with way marks not being clear and things like that. We expect this to take three days, um, so we'll see how things go. I'm really looking forward to it, and I really couldn't have had wished for a better day to start. I mean, let's look at this glorious sunshine picturesque really you know the beach is really quiet but we've had some fantastic weather the last uh, you know this year really the heat wave and things like that weather's not been so good for the last couple of days sorry the last couple of weeks but the last couple of days have been nice and just perfect really so there's lots to talk about lots to think about lots to catch up on for now i'm just going to enjoy the way there's loads of beach huts along here as well you can see there's lots and lots it's a really nice area and I'm expecting you know to take me up over hills and through woods and all sorts of things on the way to Minster. So for now, just listen and just you can just hear the piece as well, which is fantastic. I'll see you all in a short while. So a couple of hours further along the way now maybe an hour and a half, hour and three quarters, perhaps as well. And sadly the view is just kind of just fading a little bit, but I'm basically kind of down into the valley. But um, over there, over this way in a second, is the hills which I was on last month on the Tol Tolstead Trek. I'm currently on the Elam Valley Way. I've actually walked along here for maybe I'd say 10 years ago, maybe eight, nine years ago, walking from Hive to Canterbury. Did it a day, so left quite early and got there at five, six o'clock. A beautiful route. And I will be walking some of a similar route today. So the Royal Saxon Way has been set up by um, a small group of pilgrims, I think. It's called um, Creative Pilgrims. And they've set this route up a couple of years ago using existing routes of you know way way marks and existing routes of footpaths etc and that's what i'm doing now and i suppose it's just a nice little bit i've been walking up hill walked through a little bit of woodland um kind of a little bit of kind of urban as well but quite clear I haven't got lost at all uh, there's a route map which is really good so far quite clear you can just pick it up um, every turn and everything else which comes with it which makes a big difference and now I suppose I'll just maybe just touch on what's happening in the world at the moment which is pretty crazy and pretty insane so whatever's going on in Russia uh, annexing I think it, Putin's annexing parts of Crimea I don't really understand it fully but it seems potentially that Russia's winning um, there's massive, oh, we've talked about energy crisis and everything which is going on um, at the moment. There's a new Prime Minister at the moment in the UK, Liz Trust. She's got a new treasurer, I think it is, um, as well. She's got a new policy, which I'll talk about in just a second. But kind of maybe quite importantly with regards to the energy is there's the Nord Gas, there's a, a gas pipeline and there's a leak. And there's just feeds into this narrative of energy you know Europe's going to be hit by this massive energy crisis this year it's going to be blackouts and all this everything that comes with that you know people being limited energy etc I mean if they're paying for it fair enough it might not happen but you know there might be restrictions on things if there isn't enough it could be very difficult it's going to be very interesting very worrying but hopefully we'll be okay um as a result of all of this, the UK has set up this new kind of economic fiscal policy. Um, I think fiscal means financial, hopefully that's right. 
and where there's inflation they're reducing the interest rates I think it is oh, something like that I'm um, no reducing the tax rates so for high income I, I don't really get it but it seems as a result of this this is what has happened I'm starting to walk up here in a second might get a little bit out of breath um, is wow, the UK GBP Great British Pound Sterling has fallen to like a, a massive low um, it's less than a dollar now and as I was in the pub yesterday kind of having a coffee I heard of it, someone saying he must be about 30 years old first time in his lifetime and you remember it it's never happened so maybe personally for me I don't know the meaning of it the significance of it yet but certainly to a lot of people this is significant it's the UK is not doing very well there's pressure I saw the IMF uh, asking the UK to consider their policies um, ahead of November when they said they're going to review it wow it's uh, on a day to day basis though you don't turn the news on you don't know you don't know um, so I've got a few days off at the moment this is day four my days off day three I really can't remember yeah, day four I worked the, day t the first day I worked till two o'clock to finish some things off start a new job in a couple of days um, but if you don't know things or look at things you don't it doesn't really affect you so that's what I'm trying to do just trying to you know compose myself reconnect with nature that's what pilgrimage is about and enjoy the walk because certainly you know again if I just be quiet for a second nature you know just lose yourself in nature reconnect just fabulous and fantastic a little bridge up here a little railway bridge looks like a tunnel sorry potentially you can go through that in a moment which would be nice if i do um edison started school um a few weeks ago this is first proper week because uh, i should have mentioned as well the queen died um everything that came about we have a new king i think maybe i mentioned that last time i'm not sure um, it was a bank holiday, so Edison had a shorter week, again, four days. And as a result, this is his first four weeks. Today's Friday. I went in yesterday, I picked him up a couple of times this week, and then um, they're doing a bit of phonics, learning about phonics, which, like, I kind of talked to the teacher about, my wife. Um, he's been struggling going in, he's been saying to his mum, it's a bit better the last two, three days, but he's been saying to his mum things like, oh, I don't have any fun anymore, so... Two or three weeks in at school, he's already thinking that. It's just, it's hard, isn't it? It's a real culture shift for the people, for kids. You know, they've had such a great time. It's Elan Valley Way, so I keep going this way through the tunnel. But I mean, bank holiday won't be too far. Sorry, the public holidays. Public holidays. Half term might be too far away. We go for the tunnel again. It seems sort of quiet. It's just beautiful, away from the, the busyness of the world. So what I'm going to do, obviously, I was thinking of walking as far as I get today, but already thinking maybe not going so far, just enjoying it, maybe just get home a little bit earlier rather than kind of push myself and challenge myself. And what I did last week, I did a challenge, I did a um, four castles challenge, so from Deal, Sandown Castle, Deal Castle, Warmer Castle, Dover Castle, a half marathon, it took two hours, four minutes, or two hours, six minutes, which was good. So physically, like mentally, I feel like I can do things. I'm not looking to kind of push myself too far today, just enjoy it. Got myself out of the way. There's a bus which I can get back to Folkestone to get back to the car where I started. And if it takes me three days, it takes me four days, it doesn't really matter. So I'll take a little breather here. Nice lunch in a minute, I'm gonna find a nice spot. And I'll see you all in a short while. see France over there, not sure what the image, how uh, clear it will be. Obviously the wind's picked up. 
hill in bed, not as warm as it was earlier this morning down at the beach. And they're actually at one of the highest points in the local area near Tolsford, um, the Tolsford uh, transmitter, where I was on my walk last week, just about a month ago. I'm just taking in the moment here. There's another bench here, just on the back. There's also the Silver Cross Hill right in front of me there. Feeling good, the nature's fantastic. Obviously, you can hear the birds, see the birds there as well. It's just really, really nice. So, I'll just take a moment out for a bit of peace and quiet. And I um, made a decision as well another hour of walking um, on Salim Inch and try and get the bus back to Folkestone in about an hour or so's time. So, I think it should be doable. And um, I'm hoping to be home about four o'clock to see it soon as well. So, it's going really well. And I'm um, just so I've just arrived in Liminge about half an hour before the bus arrives and we're going to catch so done pretty well it's about 10 miles I have to check the step counter but about 10 miles I've walked from Folkestone today so far so I'll try and find a bus in a moment but I've got a bit of time and just this is actually the Eland Valley Way, which is a trail. Which, uh, so I keep to a trail for a bit before I try and find the bus stop in the, in the village centre. So it's been nice. Um, obviously, I have to find my way back here next time to pick up the trail, probably onto Bridge. That might, or sorry, Beaksbourne might be the, the next day of walking. And it's been great. So, the Royal Stour Way, sorry, the Royal Saxon Way has been great so far on day one. And, um, Maybe next week I've got a few days off, maybe potentially then, we'll see. But who knows what will happen in the world by then, um, in that time, because it really, you know, things do move fast. Um, stay, try and stay calm on top of things and enjoy things like this and my family, which are the most important things. So, until next time.